Properly structured group projects can reinforce skills such as the ability to deconstruct complex tasks, plan and manage time, develop stronger communication skills, provide and receive effective feedback, and apply critical thinking strategies. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a, a groups with discussions and drop boxes at the same time so that you have a space for the students to be able to communicate with each other and a space for you to be able to evaluate the group project. I'm going to click on Communicate tab on the nav bar and click Groups. I'm going to click the New Category button. I'm going to enter a title. for the group. The next thing you need to choose is the enrollment type. Now this is kind of interesting and I'll try to explain each one of these. The first one, number of groups, no auto enrollment. That means that you manually add the members after creating the groups. Probably not the most efficient way. Groups of number means that's a variable number of groups, specific number of members in each. So in this, if I choose this one, then I would say I want 10 members in each and it will randomly choose the number of groups, a number of users, and how many groups that will be. If I choose the next one, which is number of groups, that just means how many groups I want, specific number of groups with members evenly distributed. Now the next three are very interesting, and that's groups of number, self-enrollment. This means a variable number of groups, specific number of members, but the students get to choose the groups. And the number of groups, self-enrollment, that specific number of groups, but again, the students get to choose the groups. And then the last one is number of groups, uh, no, uh, I'm sorry, number of groups of number, that's a specific number of groups with a specific number of members. So if I want three groups with five each, and again, students get to choose that one. I'm going to go ahead and choose number of groups. I'm going to put in how many groups I want, and under uh, advanced properties, uh, you can actually choose a couple things. Um, so underneath the additional options here, I'm going to go ahead and checkbox set up discussion areas and set up Dropbox folders. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. What will happen first is the Create Restricted Discussion Areas will show up. And again, this only shows up if you've checkbox discussions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a new forum. I don't want to put it into a forum that already exists because this is a group project. So I'm going to create a new forum. I'm going to put a name for the forum. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. I'm going to click Create and Next. The next step is to create the Dropbox folder. Again, I only have to create one. I'm going to go ahead and enter a name for it. and now you can actually choose the various properties. You may want to review the tutorials on these. I'll go ahead and add this as a new grade item. I'll put it into a category and give it a certain number of points. Click Save. I'll put the out of. and I can put my instructions in here. I can enable the originality checking for turn it in if I want. And another thing that you may want to look at is the submission options, especially with a group project. Right now this allows unlimited and all submissions kept, which means that every single member of the group can upload a file as many times as they want and can submit as many times as they want and all the files are kept. So one of the things you may want to do is if you only want one file for the students from the group, you would choose one file per submission and maybe only allow one submission. So only one student, the group leader, would actually upload the file and then anybody else wouldn't allow that. I would like that option if I would want. I'm going to go ahead and click Create because again, you only have to create a single Dropbox. The submissions will be grouped within the Dropbox submissions so you may want to review the tutorial on how to grade a group Dropbox. I'm going to click Create. You're going to see a workspace summary for the groups. You'll notice that one discussion form is created. And I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And now if I want to go ahead and review and see these discussions, I click the Submission Review tab and click Discussions. 
I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a group project three with three topics because it created three groups and then you'll see next to it underneath of it this group restrictions which means that the students will only see the group topic in which they're enrolled. If I want to see my Dropbox, I'm going to scroll back up, Submission Reviews and Dropboxes. And I'll scroll down to the bottom and there is my group Dropbox for group Dropbox 3. And it will have a little icon next to it, indicates that this is a group Dropbox. And again, when you grade the group Dropbox, the same grade will be pushed into the gradebook for each student in that group. But then you can change them individually. Again, go review the tutorial on how to grade a group Dropbox.